So I was using the garden hose to check the roof for leaks and guess what I found? Basically I didn't have any leaks coming from anything, nothing from the skylights, nothing from the fantastic vent fan, nothing. But I was getting water down here. And I'm going, why have I got water coming in here? It's not coming from anywhere up here, not coming from any of these. And I noticed right down in here it was creeping up from the bottom of the wall. Well that only leads me to one conclusion here and that's that I'm getting water coming in to the front compartment. So I went over to the front compartment and tore down the lid. There are four bolt holes holding this on and th this is what they used. Uh, you can see they're rusted through and that's because they're getting water. What happened is the water's hitting on the back side here and it worked its way through the hole. There's a strip of plywood underneath here and I can feel it that's all rotted away. So it's coming through these holes because they never installed any gaskets or put any sealant on it. So I've got to fix that. I've got to put it in properly and I can't have water coming in. So I'll pull these screw heads out, I'll pull out that strip of plywood, reinstall it and put in some proper bolts and we'll see if that fixes the problem. And you can see that's just going to spin because it's all rotted. I'll have to take and pry that out. This wood is saturated. Everywhere there is a bolt hole it goes through and it's rotted right through. So I'll have to cut a strip of plywood, clean up everything, reinstall it. Alright, I cut a piece of half inch plywood. It's two inches wide, 77 inches end to end. Make sure it's seated all the way up in the top of this. And I'll take and sink a couple of screws in there. Put another one in, you can see where the bolt holes are going to go. So now I'm going to take a piece of a turnabond, cut a small little piece here, and place it over the hole. Get that nice and attached. This select as a gasket. In order for it to do that, I'll take a drill bit that's a couple sizes too small and just punch a hole through it. And now when I force the screw in from this side, it'll make a nice tight seal around the outside edge. I just found these bolts here. They were at uh, one of the big box uh, Lowe's. Uh, these are perfect because they've got a nice shoulder on them. And the shoulder doesn't have any threads, so that means where the threads are, water can still wick in and a nice smooth surface and won't allow as much chance of water wicking in. So I'll install these now. Another ounce of precaution, you see I put on the stainless steel bolt and then a washer and then I cut a, another gasket of a turnabond put on here so this will stick onto the outside, go through that other gasket on the inside um, and that'll both be on actually on the outside of the uh, plastic here and hopefully that'll tighten it all up and won't get any more leaks in there. Alright, all the bolts are in, so now we've got to close it up and see if it keeps the water out. Now I'll get my hose and let's give it a try. Ah. 
and before I did this repair, it did not take a lot of water to make it leak through. And we'll give it a 30 seconds or so of a good rainstorm. You can see the water running down. All right, I'm inside. I let it rain on the outside for actually probably about 45 seconds. And I come inside and it is dry. If I had done that before, I would have gotten water leaking out all along this edge here. You can see where the water had leaked before right along here. This was all wet. It was wet underneath here. It was wet in front of the water heater down in there. And I'm nice and dry, so if you have a problem like this, uh, I showed you how to fix it. It seems to do the cure. And uh, if you don't have a problem like that, at least you'll know what to do when you do get it. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Thanks.